Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Metal Meltdown, or perhaps more specifically, more appropriately, a brand new episode of watching Robert absolutely fucking humiliate himself as he continuously butchers the French language in an attempt to correctly pronounce song titles and lyrics over the span of roughly eight to nine minutes. I know that might sound like a bit of an exaggeration, but let's just be honest here. I'm not a smart motherfucker. I mispronounce shit all the fucking time. And for some reason, I have required more knowledge of the French language specifically on the Metal Meltdown than I have in fucking Montreal, Quebec, or amongst any French-speaking people. I'm not sure how the fuck that works, or why the fuck it works out that way, but it does. So here we are, learning French on the Metal Meltdown. How fun. All jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about the sixth studio album from French black metal, sludge metal, post-metal hybrid crew, Celeste. They've been kicking around for close to 16, 17 years now, but this is their first album released internationally with the help of Nuclear Blast Records, and in turn, my first time really experiencing a full studio album of theirs in any capacity. And what a hell of an experience, let me fucking tell you. This shit is fucking weird. This shit is fucking creepy. The atmosphere and production value of this thing is very dense, very murky. There's a real sense of dread running through this thing. Musically, there's a lot of pain and violence and anguish being conveyed. These guys are practically crying out in absolute misery and anger at certain points across the record. And this is complemented by some blistering fusions of black and sludge and post-metal, a lot of very misanthropic soundscapes, a lot of battering, pummeling rhythms, some harrowing, ghoulish fucking shrieks. At times, I'm reminded of some other mentally and emotionally challenging works from the likes of Portal, Amun-Ra, Cult of Luna. I don't think it's at all unfair to say that if I were younger and less knowledgeable of extreme metal and extreme music, this album probably would have scared the absolute fucking bejesus out of me in the same way that other works from the aforementioned Portal and Amun-Ra and Cult of Luna did and have and to some extent still do. The track Le Coeur Noir Champon, for instance, is a very hefty, bulky, somewhat intimidating piece of emotionally charged black gaze. There are a lot of melodramatic outbursts in just this one song, and for every emotional high, there's also an emotional low. For every single explosion of post-black metal catharsis, there's also a lot of chanted vocals, a lot of impatient guitar strumming, a lot of tension, a lot of build-up, a lot of atmosphere, a lot of shit just kind of stewing in the background and very slowly but effectively pouring into the forefront of the sound. It's like the sonic equivalent to watching somebody have an emotional breakdown from outside your window. Like they're standing in the fucking street, pouring their fucking heart out. They're on their fucking knees. The rain is fucking pouring and they don't give a shit. And you're just sitting there watching and honestly, you kind of feel like an asshole for not intervening. Meanwhile, De Torrent de Coupe contrasts some very technical drum patterns with some very dreamy, shadowy, dark kind of black post-metal. It feels like a mixture of both old-school Lantlos and modern-day Lantlos. There's also the Tessia Blue Paris, which pairs some distinctly Gojira-esque percussive beatdowns and groove-laden passages with some modern black metal flair and sizzle. It's very brutal, very in your face, probably one of the heaviest and most engaging tracks on the entire album. Even a seemingly more straightforward cut like Dragou en Tenfon is still pretty fucking intense. I mean, these guys are just lashing out. They are just freaking the fuck out for lack of a better term on this cut. There's so much energy, so many tight, crippling riffs. It would not shock me at all to learn that the studio was fucking decimated after having recorded just this one track. There's definitely a lot of energy and emotion and information to process here, which 
is already difficult enough for me, because guess what? Everything's in French, and as we've already discussed, I don't fucking speak or understand French all that well. Which is why I really appreciate this album actually being as short as it is, clocking in at 41 minutes. If it had gone on for an hour or longer, I honestly think that eventually this album would have been somewhat tiring, somewhat overwhelming. I think it would have ran out of steam and momentum, but at 41 minutes, it's able to provide a really powerful, even cinematic experience with a lot of different twists and turns without losing any of its luster. Like right when you think you've had enough and you're kind of almost done with this thing, it wraps up, it fucks off, and goes home. Thank you, Celeste. Thank you for being self-aware enough to realize that nobody wants to sit down and be beaten to death for an hour. 41 minutes is perfectly fine. I do find myself wishing that the album's lyrics were in English so that I could better connect to the music on an emotional level. However, I still was able to pull a lot out of it. I was still thoroughly engaged with this album. The amount that Celeste is able to do with a slew of familiar ingredients and spices and flavor profiles, and the lengths that they can go to with all of that in the span of 41 minutes, is honestly kind of fucking incredible. So with that in mind, I have no issue whatsoever giving this a very enthusiastic 4 out of 5. This was... A very intense listen, maybe not as intense as advertised, and maybe not, while we're on the topic, as mind-blowingly innovative as advertised, but a great record nonetheless. It makes me genuinely really excited to see what this band is going to do next. It makes me also kind of excited to check out their older material to see what other stuff they've been up to. I'm not really sure how people are going to respond to this. I'm not really sure how Celeste fans are going to respond to this. I'm not really sure how newcomers are going to respond to this, but I do know that anyone looking for just really harsh, abrasive music is going to be pretty satisfied. Like I would say, if you really enjoyed the Wise Dude record from earlier this month, but you're looking for something maybe a little bit more dynamic and diverse musically speaking, boom, this is what you need. I'm starting to run out of things to say, and I'm also getting real tired of butchering all these French words, so let's start wrapping things up. Assassins by Celeste, four to five, great record, hell of an experience. Keep the lights on, just in case. And you know, maybe also just keep a stuffed buddy nearby, just in case, for their protection, not yours. I mean, I came out pretty unscathed, but you know, Chompy helps. Yeah. Okay, we're done here. That is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe right here so you get updates on the Metal meltdown -y fucking immediately. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.